has been two months since this chaotic scene. Multiple children were shot near a park in the West End. An 11 year old boy killed five taken to the hospital. Police still have not made an arrest and news tonight at 10. The family of that 11 year old boy Dominic Davis tells us that they're offering a cash reward for information leading to an arrest. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Trisha Mackey. And I'm Rob Williams. Our Simone Jameson spoke with his family and joins us live with more on how they're remembering him. Rob, Trisha, I spoke with Dominic's father tonight. He tells me his family is doing what they can to turn the pain of losing Dominic into triumph and to put a stop to senseless killings citywide. Dominic, he was fun. He was he loved to tick tock. He loved to dance. He loved fashion. He loved to play basketball. He just was an all around fun 11 year old kid. Isaac Davis swells with emotion as he remembers his son, 11 year old Dominic Davis, who would have turned 12 on Christmas Eve. Instead, his life was cut short after a mass shooting in the West End, November 3rd. It's been tough. He was just outside playing with his friends. He was a couple doors down from his back door. Cincinnati police say someone in a dark colored sedan fired nearly two dozen gunshots into a crowd of children at the corner of Jones and Wade streets, killing Dominic and sending a 12 year old, 13 year old, two 15 year olds and a 53 year old to the hospital. Just plays over and over in my head, just wish he would have been with me. He wasn't being in a gang or doing any activities he shouldn't be doing. It's just a terrible situation. According to data from the Cincinnati Police Department, nearly 300 shootings were reported from January to November of 2023. At least 57 of them involved juveniles, seven of which were deadly. Isaac says the pain of losing Dominic led his family to create the Forever 11 Foundation to help curb gun violence in Cincinnati, in addition to launching a toy drive in Dominic's honor. We're planning on going back to the community, helping out the kids, trying to see what they need and what we can do to help them out and keep them out of these situations. Isaac says his family is also offering a $5,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest in Dominic's murder. It's definitely frustrated. We just want justice so we can grieve and try to live our everyday life and as normal as possible. He just was being a kid. And he definitely wasn't the target. ATF is also offering a $5,000 reward for leads in Dominic's case, making the grand total combined with the family's $10,000. Anyone with information in the deadly West End shooting is encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 513-352-3040. Live from the Cincinnati Police Department, Simone Jameson, Fox 19 Now. Simone, thank you very much. You see that